How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be showing you a video on Dead Island again. It's going to be how to mod your game save, get all the legendary weapons, unlimited ammo and all your blueprints and just shit that you basically you need through the game and I'm just going to show you how to get it all. So what you want to do basically is have Dead Island and have a game save of Dead Island. It doesn't matter what level or chapter you're on. Um, go along to settings, system settings and go to memory, make sure your USB is configured to your Xbox as well. Go to your hard drive, games and apps, and you want to go and find where your Dead Island saved, and then you're going to move your save along to your USB. I just made a brand new one for this because my hard drive corrupted, so I needed a new, a new save, so I thought, why not mod it? And I found a new way how to do it, and it's very good, and it shows you, gives you a lot of things you can use in the game. So after you do that, you're going to have it on your USB, you just simply take your USB out of your Xbox and then you want to go and plug it into your computer. Alright guys, um, we're on the computer now, the USB is plugged in, I'm just going to show you just now because I want to. Um, there it is, removal disk, um, that's my USB, you can't see the contents because it's Xbox synced just now I think, I think that's the reason not to show. But, you're going to need two programs for this, one is going to be Horizon and the other is going to be the Dead Island Save Editor which everyone calls D-I-S-E for some reason, I'm not too sure why they do that but yeah it's called D-I-S-E and um oh shit, colour scheme has been changed, cool beans, I don't care and then it's like people call it that just for short, I don't know, I don't know why I'm going on about it either so you're going to um, open up Horizon, I have it open here and then you're going to get your USB flash drive, which um, should just automatically pop up as soon as you like plug it in. The download for this will be in the description if you don't have it yet, and so with the Dead Island save editor. Hit games, um, and then you want to hit Dead Island, the little arrow just before the game. And then I've got login level 1, chapter 1, size is 60 kilobytes. Now, everyone's got a different way to modern this. Well, I've got a different way from them, so uh, to me, everyone has a different way. So you want to double click it, and it should open this little box here. And you should have two little pictures, your profile ID, device ID, console ID, title name, and display name. And if you do have all that, and it's all inputted with random numbers and shit, and then you should be okay. Title name obviously should be Dead Island, and the display name should be the name of whatever your... It could be like, I don't know, Sam, level 18, chapter 4, I guess. It could be, I suppose, maybe, I don't know. Right, um, you have your save zero here, what you're going to hit. If you, if, the, if you open up package info is the first thing that comes up, you hit contents after that, you get save zero, underscore zero. Then you want to hit extract and extract it to your desktop. Where's desktop? There's desktop. And then just hit save. And as you can see, save zero is now extracted to my desktop. So we can minimize horizon for just now and we can open up the dead island save editor. Um, this should be your basic screen, this should be the thing that comes up and this is what should happen like as soon as you bring up Dead Island Save Editor. You want to drag in your save zero and you're just going to drop it into character and you're going to get all this information. I advise don't change anything on this page, um, but you can change everything in your inventory. right? As soon as I saw this, I was quite confused about what to type and sorry if you can't really read what happens on the sides here, but you'll get the basic idea of where to click, what to do. So basically over here is you get all your weapons down in the bottom right that's every single weapon and every single piece of equipment in the entire game right so you can add custom item you can make your custom item i think it's just a pistol by default i'm not too sure and if you want to add every single one of them into the game click the very top one hold down shift and then go straight to the bottom then then click it again it won't let you put in zzz underscore ammo underscore m72 underscore n it won't let you put that in because you have to be like a premium member or something so when I right click it and you want to go add selected and go to your inventory. Don't put it into gin because just don't. Put it into your inventory. Only licensed okay. Right. Only licensed member can add the Z's demise. But I wouldn't worry about it because you will have the Z's demise. So see, it's there. So don't worry about it. After you get all these, you're gonna you're not gonna want one ammo one quantity in one hit till it breaks are you? No. So you're gonna go around here, you're gonna select them all, you're gonna hit upgrade all and repair all which is in the bottom right. You're gonna click unbreakable and you're gonna hit upgrade upgrade level 4 and make sure the presets are on good. Put 
put awareness, just leave it default. I, li- I sometimes like to put them all on ex- exceptional just for the fuck of it. But you want to put quality slash ammo and just want to put nine, just shit tons of nines. And then, oh, oh well, obviously, <laughs> obviously doesn't work for me because, you know, I suck. But, you know, you just put whatever you want um, in there until it doesn't work, I suppose. I'm just going to put nine, 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 see what happens. Yeah, there you go. That'll do. So that's your qual- quantity slash ammo of all your weapons. In the cache over here, it does work if you just spam 9 and then you click off it. Okay, no it doesn't. Why did I suck so bad? Put just a slight amount of 9s in and then it should just it should just pop to the nearest or the highest maximum thing you can get, which is that. Um, you can change your pistol, rifle, shotgun ammo to whatever you want. And again, I'm just going to just click 9. There you go, and that's like that's basically all of it. So now you want to go to mods slash collectibles. You can you you can take all the mods, which I do recommend, um, and take all the ID cards, all the news, and all the tapes, just to get a kind of background to how it happened and stuff. As if you're confused about how it works, you're gonna want to just choose give all for all skills and for your character, just because you can. And you can change the character if you want. I do recommend staying Logan because I'm not too sure what happens if you change character, if it fucks up or not. I'm just going to reveal everything on the map because I want to. The miscellaneous. Um, well, I say miscellaneous. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Just hit infinite health and stamina, heal up and refill. And obviously you can't work in the premium thing. So, you can add all that shit. You can add custom items. Custom items is like just you can rename it yourself. I think I'm not too sure what it is. I think you can rename it. I'm not too sure. No, you can't. Right. And as you can see, they're all in unbreakable, and they're all upgrade levels are full, which is always good. Although you get the random things that can't be upgraded, but that's fine. And now that all that's saved, basically what you want to do to save it is this is quite confusing for people. So I'd, I'd like watch this. Well, I'll show you one thing first. You can choose like what weapons you want to assign. I want the universal axe and my slot one, and it'll put it on slot one. But there you go. You want to go to a preview, and it should all just be normal. Yeah. Go to inventory and hit file, and then save. And it should say sync with Steam Cloud. Don't do this because you're not on PC. You can do this with PC, but I just don't recommend it for just now. Go ahead and hit don't ask me again. And then hit no. And then you can save it again. And in the bottom right, it should say saved in a little orange box. Just I save it multiple times just to make sure. Basically, what you want to do now is you want to close your Dead Island save editor and then reopen it. Just to make sure that it's done it correctly. That's all. Now you want to drag in your save again. The one that you just, like... One you just modded, which is obviously the SAM, whatever. No, sorry, it's not. Take that back. Silly me. But you want to get your save zero. Fuck. Hit save zero. And put it into character. And if it does just say level one, chapter one and shit, it, and it's still got all this in it, then basically you're fine. You want to just keep that because you can go to skills and you can change your level to level f- like 60 if you want. Just change it to that. And as you can see, it does change. So hit file, save file, save, and then just close it now, and then re-put it in, and then see if it's given you the level up, which it has, level 60. So hit file, save again, just, I, I keep saving it just to be certain, you know. So you're going to open up Horizon now, and you're going to hit save zero, which was in your contents um, input box, which you shouldn't on, should not have deleted, and I shouldn't have said input box, because I said pop-up box, but you know, whatever. Hit replace and then replace it with your save underscore zero that is on your desktop. Just hit open and it should say file replace successfully. And hit save rehash and resign. You can do it a couple of times if you want. Again, I like to make sure just be saving it. So that's it in your USB and we can go back to the Xbox 360 and save it and shit like that. Right, so now we're back on the Xbox, and um, basically what you want to do is you want to go along to settings again, um, if you want to move it back to your hard drive, go to storage, go to memory unit, and then go to games and apps, Dead Island, and hit your Logan or whatever, your Sam, Sheen, whatever, I don't know, whatever save you have. You want to hit move, and you want to move it to your hard drive, just like that. 
now you can obviously load your save from your hard drive, it makes it quite a large amount easier. So you're going to go across to Play Dead Island, just play it. And we're going to wait on it loading a long time. And basically something to like watch out for is as soon as you start up your save and go to play and stuff, as soon as it's loading up the map, it's going to take a bit longer than usual. It's going to take like five or six seconds more, I think it's about that, to actually load your save game because like all the mods and stuff and all the weapons that it has to load in your inventory and stuff um, from scratch. Just adding like, I don't know, 700 new things, and that's really exaggerated, but still, like, I don't know, like 500 or 600 new things, probably about that. Because your experience and stuff has to accumulate, and as soon as you turn it on, it just has to load all this. And it just takes a lot longer, I don't know why I'm really explaining it, it just has to take longer. So, as soon as your game starts, you're going to want to load your hard drive, obviously. I'm going to say you selected it, you're going to hit play, and here you go, here's your Logan thing. And as you can see, it's going to say it's 1% still completed, but it's going to say you're logging level 60 as we modded it to. We're going to let it load the resort. It's not this bit, it takes longer. I suppose it could take a bit longer, I don't really notice, because, I don't know, I just don't. But as soon as this starts, your character should die. Like, as soon as you spawn, it should be on the floor, basically, dead. And then it will say, like, respawning or something. I'm not too sure why it does that. Again, I'll have to look into that, but I don't really care, to be honest. So he should die. He should be dead. Well, he's not. That's a first. He died the last time I done it. That's good. And click up in the D-pad, and that's where it takes longer. Because look at all the shit you've got now. You've got 2,100 oh, numbers I can't explain, like 2 billion something, I don't know. Um, as you can see, it is one hit until, what do you call it? One hit until it dies. So we're going to bring it out just now, we're going to put it there. And as you can see, it doesn't really matter um, how long, how much hits it takes. We'll go find a zombie somewhere and hopefully it'll work on him. So where is he? Kill him. Keep his ears. Where is he? Right. So get Assassin Creed out. So it is, it is unbreakable because you've got so many of them. Even if it breaks, you can just it will move on to the other one. And as you can see, you've got all your. Got all your, what do you call them, weapons. And if we take the time and go all the way down to the very bottom. Like a shotgun, you got all your ammo, you got all this shit, which is like your mission completions. I think I'm not too sure. Um, all your, oh, just all that shit that you need. You got the glove of hand, you've got your magnums, you've got just your everything, everything you could possibly need. You have it, except your quests. If you suck like me. You've got all your skill points as well, which is actually impossible to do. As you can see, it's actually fucked up. But it does still work, although, like, it's it's impossible to get every single skill tree full because you don't get enough experience in the full game for it. So, basically, that's how you mod it. It's extremely easy if you know what you're doing. I've tried to go into as much detail as I could because I know how difficult it was for me for the first time. Um, as you can see, the zombie assholes are here. So I'm gonna just find a shotgun because I want to use a shotgun you got a problem with that so we're gonna go find just a gun 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 I'm one grand actually I'll use that load please thank you and basically you fuck them up because they are to my last comments in my last videos because man and I was really suckish and it just took so fucking long. So here we even got a stone off shotgun, I mean how badass is that? I think that deserves a like. So we're gonna have to put this on off. Oh, oh, 
Thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you later. Bye.